chapter this morning. Man, when this came out, this this, this was fire. This song was just fire when this came out. Remy Ma on top of the rap world with hits like this one, but then the music stops with a bar shooting and a jail sentence. This morning she is free again after six years behind bars. Good morning and thanks so much for being here with us. Good morning, thank you for having me. So you were released on the first of this month. The first of August, yes. What was that moment like? Seeing the sunshine again, being free again? Um, it just it didn't really feel real. After being in prison for six and a half years, it it's kinda hard to just believe that you're actually free. Like sometimes it's so depressing that you start to feel like even though you know you weren't given life or you don't have you know a certain type of sentence that's longer than when they allowed me to get out it just seemed a lot of times that it was never going to come yeah and what was it like for you being behind bars i mean you were on the top of the rap world when you went in so you were grammy nominated you won awards and there you are oh, it was horrible i think i think for people who aren't on the top of the game who people just have a regular nine to five job it's horrible I met a lot of people that were in prison with me and they weren't you know famous they didn't get nominated for Grammys but their pain was just as real as mine you know I can't really what kind of pain just just being away from your family being away from your children being away from just your life period not being able to eat when you want take a shower when you want you know just just life period just taken away yeah, and your son is how old now? Too? My son, he just turned 14 last week. So what was that like, six years? I mean, you, you, you think he's 14 now, so right. you went in, he was, what, eight years old? He was seven. His Se birthday, seven years he was old. like seven. So you missed, I mean, a, a big chunk of his life. Yes, I mean, I missed his, I, I think two, maybe three graduations, um, numerous birthdays, Christmases, New Year's, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day. All these holidays, like those are the ones, the times when you really realize how much time has went by. And then when I go in, he's up to here to me. And when I come home, he's taller than me. He's, he's like a man. He's like a little man. Right, right. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's hard. I was told before you sat down that, that you're not allowed to talk about um, the shooting. You, you, right. you can't discuss it. But I, I do want to ask you, because you, I'm sure you've had a lot of time to reflect. I mean, what, what do you think having been through all of this now what have you learned what's the biggest lesson that you're taking out of this i mean i've, I've learned that you have to you have to be careful like I, I was telling someone the other day like you when people make mistakes everything can't be fixed with a sorry everything can't be fixed with you know my bad i didn't mean that there, there's consequences to every action and once that's done though you have to move on in life you can't dwell on it and continuously beat yourself down and hold a grudge against yourself because you'll never be able to continue with your life and you've said sorry you've apologized um, numerous times numerous times okay let's talk about the new chapter now because you've been out since the first of, of august and I go online, and you're doing a remix with, I see French Montana, you're doing a <laughs> remix of this, you're doing a freestyle on that. I mean, my goodness, have you stopped since you've been out? No, I haven't. I haven't stopped. I, I mean, when you're, when you're gone for so long and your passion is to do music and just let the world see your creativity and your artistry, when you finally get a chance, well, when I finally got a chance to do it, I just came out running. I didn't want to, you know, waste any time. A lot of people was like, you know, maybe you should just rest for a while and get used to what's going on. I'm like, no, this is, this is something that I know how to do. So okay. it's cool. There's one more thing I, I want to make sure I ask you before you go. And you've talked about this glass ceiling. Right. hip hop for females right and there's a lot of female rappers out there right now we have a, we have a whole bunch we have some pictures for you to look at we want to I want to get your take on you know Lil Kim what's your take on Lil Kim um, Kim Kim is a, a icon is no matter what she's doing right now you know congratulations she just had a baby but she she came from an era where there weren't any females out at all period and not really not even doing what she was doing and bringing to the music so she's always gonna yeah. you know be iconic for that all right we're gonna have to talk some more off the air because i, I want to pick <laughs> your brand a bit but we appreciate you, you coming by and Thank sharing you. your story with us for new music uh, and to all of remy ma's fans upcoming projects go to pixlevin.com click on the scene on pixlevin tab we'll have more information there lisa thank you corey well ahead